hello everyone welcome here this lecture you are going to learning front end back end and database technologies which are going to be using in full stack development so this lecture will help you to what the differences between these front end back end and database technologies what how to choose any technology to improve your career goals yes and which are going to be industry trends let's see front end technologies basically the role of front end technologies developer which he needs to learn html5 which is the latest version in hypertext markup language and css3 yes this is a cascading style sheets which is going to be make a beautification of web page and javascript is in a scripting programming language for making a client side environment programs and making lightweight along with the data pages yes it's also helpful for mobile app development to using the same application in web as well as mobile and front end frameworks which is a very popular like angular and react in nowadays in industry trends ui ux standards to apply for app development to making user interface how beautifully you are going to be designing and user experience ux is how super easily user is going to be understanding on every parameter which is going to be added in front end now a responsive website design for multiple devices yes if you are using and creating a web page or website or web application which is going to be using in different devices which is called laptop computer system and big screens or projector anywhere it is going to be helpful and one time development and automatically the responsive technology if you applied while developing yes one development is helpful for making all the devices multi device helpful to working comfortably html5 and css fundamentals see explanation like a structure how your web page is going to be making a structure with the help of html5 structure and tags are going to be used commonly used html5 elements are paragraph the elements break lines and uh, making tables these are the very popular to create your html structure these elements along with you need to create to prepare your structure layouts html semantic elements under importance you have to concentrate css and its role in web design to making beautification how beautifully you are going to be creating your web page and css syntax and selectors you are going to be learning how syntax you have to start learning and applying for your html web page styling elements with css properties how the properties group you are going to be selecting and preparing for a single html component the same how you can reuse using the classes and selectors it's super easy you are going to be learning strongly these fundamentals here javascript and frameworks essential javascript programming skills you will be learn here variables data types and operators the differences between these things how real world example you can prepare control flow and uh, loops statements functions to code reuse techniques one function how you can reuse repeatedly how it can be called and use the program definition and benefits using the front end frameworks how super easily quickly you can task finishing as real time requirements popular front end scripts and their features you are going to be making and learning building dynamic user interface with the frameworks what the things you need to learn will be covered here back end technologies like a role of a back end technology as a coder yes you need to learn any of python programming language or node js or c sharp 
or Java, any one programming language which is a very very important, which is also called server side programming language. Why it is? It's a server side means programming language will be making in the written in a language. And it's uh, going to be compiled at the server side based on the user request. It will be response will be given to the end user and the code like a, what the logic is implemented, which is a not going to be displayed after the compilation. It will be like a byte code. It will be transmitted. There won't be it, it won't be the logic won't be displayed anywhere. So that is an important thing for using server side programming language and back end frameworks. Yes, along with this programming language, quickly you can build using this framework environments to making readily used components you can add to your project like a Django, ExpressJS, such a frameworks by using, you can quickly build your development requirements. Server-side programming languages and frameworks. These server side programming languages which we have discussed already and now the benefits and uses of the different languages and a brief introduction you will be known server side languages such as Python we are going to be discussing very detailed from scratch to expert level we are going to be learning here and a popular frameworks of uh, backend key features and advantages of each framework will be discussed over there and basically Django if you choose it as a Python like a backend framework quickly you can build your web apps so you will be learn over here and similarly react js and angular js are javascript front end like a popular uh, frameworks similarly like a backend framework which is a visual studio using c sharp programming language to build web apps quickly in less time and also building apis and handling server side logic with the frameworks Yes, Django framework for especially built for creating REST APIs for Python programming language, which we are going to be learning in this particular course. Yes, database technologies. Role of database technologies are very important in app development. In terms of web, like a web app development, it's a key role. Whenever you are going to be using login or inserting data or getting data reports, everything which are going to be comes from the database. So how you need to make a database, creating the tables and how you are going to be making a relation between these tables, you are going to be learning along with the data types. What type of data you are going to be inserting inside a column that developer should understand. And overview like a relational databases are like a making a table to table relations and no SQL databases or no tables are there. Yes, it's like a MongoDB which is comes for no SQL database. So examples of database management such as a MySQL, MongoDB, PostgreSQL, Microsoft SQL Server, these all are comes from one by one in a popular databases. And uh, relational databases and tables which are going to be like a creating a relation between one table to another table and uh, the table relations which are going to be putting using primary key, foreign key and any other like a unique. These are the keys are going to be using to making a successful relational database management system. SQL basics for data manipulation and query. SQL is nothing but structured query language which is going to be getting like a table relations data which we are going to be used to retrieve data and inserting data and doing the modifications of table corrections and like a, along with all these functionalities which are going to be performing using SQL language. Database normalization and uh, relationship yes how the normalization is going to be applied like a one normalization form two normalization form three normalization form by card these all are going to be you have to concentrate to understand how the relational database management system is going to be successfully you can apply for your web app integrating front end back end and databases yes see there is a three ends i have given here Front end is a UI UX development, back end is a C sharp or a Python programming language, 
end to end of databases how data is going to be passing through front end to collecting a logic of coding and from there to it is going to be inserting into the database similarly from the database it is going to be code when we are retrieving the queries and uh, come to the front end like a reports which we are going to be making this is the way front end developer should concentrate in real time importance of a seamless of integration between these things front end back end and databases communication which is going to be established of database connection so wherever it is required for these three things you have to establish such a connections and provide the data possibilities with a secure way using apis to irrespective of technology for example you are creating an application in java and you want to get a data something which is available in python application or somewhere else so using rest apis you can get irrespective of technologies you can get the data and you can exchange the data yes like a uh, using apis it's a almost universal acceptable standard data formats of either json or xml you can use it json is nothing but javascript object notations example scenarios of data flow you will be known understand how the real time scenario learn real world practical example and your own pace making more projects by doing a simple example along with this course once you done did it then you have to assume a scenario and you have to try to create your own to make a master quickly in very less time by learning this front end back end and database technologies all you have to explore further with more real world examples of scenarios with practical examples and reaching success in the field in very less time thanking you